Hello and welcome to E-Prime, I'm Deidran. It's Jamaica Night at Carifest, the concert dubbed Comedy Roots Rock and Reggae, featured performances by Lakadka drummers, IT and Fancy Cat, Ernie Smith and Adaze. Here are the highlights. <laughs> Carifesta celebrates its 13th year under the theme Asserting Our Culture, Celebrating Ourselves and is the largest gathering of Caribbean people which features music, theatre, dance, fashion, food, literature and other art forms. Carifesta is extremely important to Caribbean unity. We are a people of similar culture but we, there is a diversity that is extremely important that we ensure that from the different islands, we're able to bring that difference, although there is similarity. The difference between our different islands where we can showcase all of this as one people. And so with Barbados hosting Carifesta this year, we made an extra very special effort in our 55th anniversary year to send a, a, a representative delegation. And we sent a delegation of approximately 80 persons, the largest. The 10-day cultural showcase closes on August 27. I'm Yours is the latest album from Sizzla Kalonji. The artist debuted at number three on the Billboard Reggae Album Start. The album has also made its way on Billboard's Heat Seekers album chart in the number four position. Sizzla has charted over 26 titles on the Billboard chart to date, and I'm Yours is the highest charting effort so far. I'm Yours was released on August 11 via FX Music Group. The 11-track set has collaborations with Ghanaian recording artists Stone Boy and Ms. V. Album tracks include Incomplete, Experience and My Girl. More international collabs for dancehall artist Charlie Black. Charlie's latest collaborative effort is with singer and songwriter Dasu on the newly released single Turn Back Time. The concept of the song is to promote world unity by fusing dancehall and R&B. Charlie Black is excited about the project and its success so far, but turns his attention to closing a deal with the UMG to continue the production of his untitled album. On the international scene, Girl Strip is creating box office buzz. The movie made over US $31 million opening weekend. The film continues to rake in big box and has crossed the 100 million mark at the box office. Girl Strip is the first film to be produced, directed, written by, and starring African Americans to bag over 100 million in ticket sales as a black film. And that's it for this evening's edition of E Prime. I'm Deidran. Thank you for watching.